What's up, Internet? It's your soul, and still monitoring the Jeffrey Epstein case while a lot of people seem to have just moved on as they usually do. For me, this is one of the most important stories around because uh, if you view exactly how many people this guy was connected to, it's just amazing. And he basically reaches through to many world governments, many corporations, many, 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 many groups who have been involved in serious crimes that have gone basically untracked and unrecorded and unprocessed properly so effectively the information that he had could have brought down i would say governments many many people and you know on top of that specifically the crimes involve abuse of children women uh all kinds of serious crimes so definitely one of the biggest cases in my lifetime i would say and definitely one to keep track of because as with so many other stories there's clearly going to be cover-ups and the fact that he died in such suspicious circumstances definitely needs to be closely examined by everyone not just by the people tasked with doing it by the government and so on now this story is just broken on reuters and some of the other mainstream sites fbi studies two broken cameras outside the cell where epstein died so first of all they said that the guards were sleeping they false, potentially falsified records. One of them wasn't even a full guard, like qualified guard, to do that job. No one had checked on him um, in quite a while before he was found dead. He wasn't on suicide watch, and he probably should have been. You know, there's all these numerous major red flags surrounding this. And there's also the post that came up on 4chan, even before it was announced publicly that he was allegedly dead, that said that they'd seen an unmarked van coming into the facility with a military guy in the back. And then shortly after, the guy, you know, uh, Epstein was found dead. So right from the very beginning, even before it was publicly announced that he was dead, I was raising the red flags. So as you can see on my Twitter post from the day of, I, I posted this almost straight away as soon as it was announced that he was dead. Epstein found dead in prison cell must have been one of those magical CIA's the cameras stopped working mysteries. So before we had any information at all, I was saying that the cameras would stop working. And how did I know that? Well, because I monitor how these groups operate. I monitor when they commit crimes, when the government commits crimes and so on to cover up there are other crimes uh they typically tend to state that the cameras weren't working even though you know, they like to claim that their their system is awesome and they've got massive funding for, you know, military and police and all these things, which they do have. And yet somehow, whenever a major event happens, the cameras don't work. And this, the biggest example, this might be 9-11 uh, on, on the, the Pentagon, when allegedly this plane crashed into the Pentagon, massive jetliner, and initially there wasn't any footage of it at all. And then they released a couple of frames under pressure, which just showed a white blob and an explosion. And then I think years later, more footage of that came out, which still didn't really show very much. And yet there would have been many cameras in that area which were working. And as it came, as it turned out, the FBI, I think it was the FBI went around and actually confiscated footage from even a, a garage nearby, like a you know a fuel station and other places that would have shown anything that it was it's on record that they confiscated that footage and we've never seen it now that's extremely suspicious obviously and you know unless you were well you would you would think it was suspicious if you were questioning the official story and there are so many reasons to question the official story you should think it's suspicious but many people never question it so they don't think it's suspicious or didn't even know but that's what happened and to me as somebody that was questioning this for very many reasons I found that extremely telling. There's no real... I can, I'm not aware of any uh, reason why they would validly take away all that footage and not allow the public to see it. They might say, oh, it's a security risk and people will be able to view the footage and and view the security of the Pentagon and that kind of thing, but I, don't, I doubt you'd be able to see very much more than you could see just by driving past anyway. So... Or well, you wouldn't, would you? I mean, ultimately, a camera just shows you what you can see. So you don't you only have to drive past in a car with a camera and you'd see roughly what people would be seeing anyway from those security cameras. So that was extremely suspicious. So as soon as I heard that Epstein was dead, knowing the chances that he would be killed or even disappeared, uh, I knew that they would say that the cameras would stop working. And surprise, surprise, um, the cameras stopped working. <laughs> uh, allegedly. 
I don't know really whether the cameras really did stop working or whether they they did work, but they you know whoever's involved just decided not to release the footage, or maybe there was actually an agent there who went and killed Epstein who took out the cameras somehow using technology or or whatever it was, like an actual real assassin who really knows how to do these things. I don't know the answer to that, but I definitely think all possibilities will remain open. And uh, I know that Jason Burmas just stated that a contact he has, who he went, who he didn't name, told him that another autopsy was took, took place on Jeffrey Epstein's body a few days ago, which confirmed that the evidence shows that he was murdered. So at the moment, I'm sticking with the idea that he was murdered, the, you know, assuming that he was blackmailing people and potentially was a, a CIA asset as well. That basically means that there's a huge number of people that would be very interested in having him killed, ranging from the CIA themselves through to people he was blackmailing. And if you consider that he was likely to have been blackmailing uh, world leaders and CEOs and people of that nature, or government, even military people, you know, it's not hard to understand that there would be a very vast amount of money and power behind the the objective of having him killed so i don't know exactly what's going to happen with all of this but i do know that it's probably on a par with 911 that you know the number of people that got behind researching 911 and now there's been actual full on academic studies uh, privately funded and done in public through university the university of alaska into the collapse of the two towers and proving that the government nist report couldn't possibly have been true it's physically impossible you know that serious academic work's been done on that to disprove the government's version of events and i think you know this is a case which requires that level of focus too and when i release the next version of the network map that i've made for the jeffrey epstein case you'll see some of why that is uh it really is quite epic in scale the number of contacts that he had and obviously i don't even know about all of them but uh from what i do know and, and think is likely based on what i'm seeing he's probably one of the most important people to understand in terms of understanding how massive criminal activity takes place on this planet i don't know that for 100 percent sure but it definitely does look like that based on the evidence so um stay tuned for more on that and i'll be releasing an update to that in a few days probably once i've had a chance to check the the map and then i'll release the map publicly so everyone can play around with it um yeah so if you've got any comments on that any extra information maybe that I'm not aware of then definitely do let me know in the comments if you've got something out of this then please do upvote like subscribe re-steam re-blog if you're on youtube please do hit the notification bell to get full notifications in the future i regularly upload videos of this kind of material and also many more uplifting videos and posts on the topic of healing and balancing and evolving just so you know i'm really only covering these epstein and, and other criminal type stories because i actually want to make a better world i want I want to feel good and happy and I want future generations to feel the same and we can't really do that while we've got these predators running the systems that educate people and inform people and control people's lives so my aim is liberation and uh, if that's yours too then definitely do subscribe and uh, let's get in contact peace